Okay, this is a, a Bootstrap Studio question again, and this one's about how to let your files uh, be known if you've got clients and um, should we email them or put them on the server or how they're going to uh, best for the client um, and or web designer really. This just doesn't apply to the Bootstrap Studio, it applies to all web design. Um, and it also is uh, one of the things that every client's probably is different. The best way for me is to do it something like this. Um, have a, on your desktop or wherever you want to put it, put a file and call, call it wherever you want. But I'm going to call this um, B, I'm going to capitalize that, B, BSS, Bootstrap Studio. In that, um, I'm going to do another one, which is going to be a zip file. So that's also going to be called um, BSS for that one. Okay, all right. So when you're dealing with clients, uh, take it from me, they can really be a pain. But some are good, some aren't. Right, so create a new, des new design. So usually I do the blank one, but for this, as it's a demonstration of uh, something that you're in the process of with your client. So we just take the product page there. So we create that. Okay, that's coming up there. And so what we're gonna do is, this will make sense after a bit, is um, at the footer or wherever you feel it's, uh, it's better suited, convert to HTML. Okay, you get your custom code and then your edit code. Okay. So if we just drag that along there, and this up here. And what I'm going to do here, just after that div, if you can see it, is put this. So I'm going to put a href, which is an anchor tags, and I'm going to put in bss.zip. Okay, and then close that. And I'm going to put click here for then we're going to close this tag all together. So put the A on the tag. And I'm also going to put um, H2 so it's easy to see. Okay. And again, close that. H2. Right. We'll apply that here. And this is for the people, the clients, to be able to download those files. Um, a thing on here is, I'm not sure if uh, people are aware, I don't know if they are, but if you want to download anything like an MP3 uh, or an HTA file or EXE file, you just really do it that way. So you put it up on your site and you, you anchor link it and then you just put the... Um, the code of the file afterwards, the dot. Okay, so I'm not sure if I applied that. Okay, so now what we see is there. Click here for files, and that doesn't look too bad. It's, it goes within the uh, within that particular web page. Anyway, so we're going to export this, and we're going to export this to um, the BSS. Okay, select folder, export. Uh, your design was export. I'll just save that. Okay, so we just not that down a minute. Okay, so we've got the BSS now. So there's your um, files. Obviously, when you're dealing with uh, with clients in the real world, you have more files than that. But with this is just a demonstration. And uh, anyway, so we put this the index and the assets into uh, into there. I hope that's taken. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I personally wouldn't email them because I use Hotmail a lot and um, sometimes they can they have a limit on, on how many how many they do even with zips that can get a bit complicated. So this is the way I would do it. 
Um, other people will have different ways and that's fine. Um, anyway, this is uh, my web hosting and I'm using my, uh, e uh, my uh, website. So when you do yours, you'll have your own domain or the, or the people that you're working for will have the, their domain. So it is a bit easier the way that uh, uh, you would do it there because I'm doing Bootstrap Studio files on top of mine. <clears throat> anyway, down here, this is on uh, my hosting client and this is unlock FTP. So I would lock FTP now. Okay. Uh, sorry, we unlock FTP. And now unlock it. I must have had that open. So, right. I'm not going to show the password, but this is username NB designs FTP server um, FTP dot uh, designs. And I'll show you why that's important because uh, if you use something like FileZilla, I think this is probably the most popular um, client for this type of thing. Uh, install a new version, not now, not anyway. So what you would do with this, if you've never done this before, and I'm sure a lot of you haven't, because it can get a bit complicated, but you need to know it. And whether you use Bootstrap Studio that much or not, you still need to know that. So anyway, you would have to put in NB Designs where the username is. So you'll put NB Designs in there. Copy that, put that in, paste it, and the FTP.MB designs would uh, go in there. So you would just put the FTP. Oh, this is a silly thing with the copy and paste. You can't really get a hold of it. Okay, so copy, put it into the host, and then you paste that. So host on there is the FTP, the username is your, your, uh, your website, and your password is the password that, that you've been given. Anyway, for me, you have a quick connect here and I've already, um, you know, that, that just gets you straight on without putting the password in. I don't really want to show that password either, obviously, for obvious reasons, really. Anyway, so you, when this is uh, retrieved on that, now you see this. And on the right-hand side, you're seeing uh, the server or the web host. Anyway, this is public HTML. This is what you want to be doing. So you go, come on, oh, come on. Right. Okay, so we're off there now. So there we go. So that's what's on your, or on my site at the moment. But on yours, it will be your client's um, files and stuff like that. So it's public HTML, public underscore HTML. So now we're looking for the uh, Bootstrap Studio files on here. And here they are. So what you do here, you can just drag them over. Just drag them over into that right side there and that should be okay. So you might have to, depending on how many files you've got and everything, you might have to wait a little while for that to load. Um, uh, here down at the bottom, usually tells you percentage wise there it is 74.9 percent um don't test it out until it's 100 percent because a lot of these things just uh the they don't really work until it's 100 percent. so i wouldn't bother with that just uh get on with something else if it's a lot a lot of files a lot of megabytes um you know that that can take that can take a lot of time so anyway that looks like 100% but they're still anyway I'll just try that and see if see if what happens there so um, just go to here NB designs uh, okay so we just go to B is it BS uh, BS uh, forward slash that's not forward slash forward slash index dot HTML I think that might work. Yeah, it does work, but it's not exactly in um, much of an order there. I think this could be something to do with my net connection because that's in the right old state at the moment. Um, or it might see, is that still working? Oh, just give us a minute there. 
I think there could be some more CSS to actually upload. That's a CSS definite problem, or it could be my net problem because I've had an absolute real joke of it lately. Okay, let's try this again. NB designs and product page. No, that's coming up. Looking a bit better. Still not quite right. And that's still still low uploading. So that'll be uploading the default fi default files and that. Um, yeah, sometimes you can you know, absolutely wait ages. I've, I've normally wait an hour for for the files either to uh, come up or come down. When you're doing WordPress sites, it's an absolute uh, for all their stuff and that can really take a take a million years before it, it starts to do it. <clears throat> But you get the idea anyway that, uh, oh, come on, that's really slow. So there you are, that's about what you will be seeing. Okay, so the thing that I did about, at the bottom of this page, about click here for files. So these are for your client, okay? So now he sees two ways of doing this. He sees what it's actually like on a server, what it's like... Um, around about what it would be like a mobile but of course like I've said in other videos always test on devices or mobile devices as many as you can because they can really catch you out that don't rely on the browser um, I've known all my browsers be right on uh, on the computer but when it comes to uh, actually looking at a mobile that can be a mile out <clears throat> so anyway what I mean by this here at the bottom click here for files these are your clients files okay so if you're clicking for that now on the left on the left hand side of the screen you're getting the uh the download okay so that's how you actually you know download things if you if you're new to that downloading it's quite an easy thing to do nice little trick and uh yeah so it's i think that's finished as well so what you would do you would open that do what you always have to extract that file, extract all, extract into the folder where you want it, or make it default, and this is it. So now your client has all the files at his disposal. He can go through you and tell you off like you usually do, uh, that you're not doing it right, that you're useless, um, and all that type of stuff. So anyway. I hope you've learned something from that. If uh, if there's something that you want us to go over, it's always too happy to help out anybody. Because um, it is quite a bit of a... If you haven't seen anything like this before, or you're very new to it, it's uh, it can be quite an, a daunting task to, uh, to do with FTP clients and how to use the downloads and how to, to make downloads happen and that. So anyway... Thanks again for watching and uh, please subscribe if you find these helpful. So um, see you again.